says, is everybody consenting? All right, we are recording. We are live at our 2020 Early College Senior Awards. Please bear with us. This is obviously something we've never done before. So we are doing our best to make this happen to honor our amazing students. Let me go to the slideshow. Apologize, we're presenting, here we go. All right, Senior Awards, Class of 2020. Our year was cut short, but our dreams were not. Welcome students and families. I wish we all could be together to honor these amazing students, but this has been anything but a normal year. No one knew that we would leave campus on March 13th and not return. As if going to high school and college at the same time wasn't challenging enough, students had to figure out overnight how to manage high school and college classes online from their homes. These 66 students have worked so hard and we couldn't be more proud of them. Class of 2020 missed out on prom, senior sunset, a live graduation ceremony, and so much more. But with everything going on in the world, our country, and our community, this has been such a challenging time. But with all this, our students have shown true resiliency. Students were able to finish all their high school work, college assignments, senior projects, and do their best to maintain a positive outlook. Our students have been sheltering in place, taking care of sick family members and younger siblings, working part-time jobs, volunteering in the community, and participating in peaceful protests against racial injustices. Our students are amazing, and I am certain they will not only achieve personal success, but they will continue to strive to make the world a better place. These last four years have been such an incredible experience. I've had the pleasure of watching these students grow from eighth graders to young adults. ECHS is a unique high school experience. I've enjoyed coming to school every day, interacting with students who are so positive, hardworking, and caring for each other. ECHS is a family where students support each other and work together to meet their high school and college professors' high expectations. Students, you're leaving ECHS with more than just college units. You have accomplished something truly great. We're gonna miss each and every one of you Please keep in touch and let us know how you're doing in the future. We plan to do a makeup senior sunset, one year reunion at the end of next school year. You are all part of the ECH family and we care for you all. Congratulations, ECHS class of 2020. First one up, our senior class president, Gabriella Biscocho. Hi, can you guys hear me? Everything good? Okay. Um, hello, friends, family, and staff of Early College High School. Um, it is an honor to speak in front of you today, despite the weird circumstances that we are in. When I was in second grade, my teacher, Mrs. Lane, told me that there was no such thing as saying thank you too many times. And in a time where we are physically apart and yet facing this big milestone, I feel as though it's important to reflect more than ever on what we are thankful for. So today I would like to thank a few groups of people that have helped shape my high school experience into the amazing thing that it was. First, I would like to thank my family and friends, my parents, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles, my Lola and my Lola and Bella, of course, for encouraging me to pursue all the different opportunities that I was presented and telling, showing me that I could get all this stuff done even when it seemed that it was impossible to do. I do not know how I would have gotten through the four year, these past four years without you all, and it has meant the your support has meant the world to me. Next, I would like to thank the staff of Early College for an amazing four years. You guys have created and grown a program that has honestly changed my life, not only academically, but also personally in so many ways that you guys probably have no idea about. Thank you for taking a chance on put by putting a bunch of high school students on a college campus, which I'm sure many people to this day still think is a crazy idea, but you guys believed we could succeed. And with your support, 
we did do that. I would like to give a special thanks personally to Mrs. Staggs for being the senior class club advisor for the senior class club this year. Without you, we wouldn't have these stoles or the sweatshirts that we have or been able to host any of the fundraisers or events that we were able to hold. And with and I probably wouldn't have been able to just keep the meetings and stuff going consistently without your help as well. So thank you so much for that. Another thank you goes out to the professors, advisors, and coaches at Solano and at Rodriguez for kind of bridging the weird gap that early college is in between these two different campuses. You've helped make our experience through high school a little more well-rounded and also just a little more wider with the accommodations and exceptions and the help that you have given us over the past four years. So on behalf of the class in 2020, thank you, thank you. And my biggest and final thank you goes to the class of 2020. Thank you for letting me be your president. Special thank you to the, office, to the officers of the senior class club, Bella, Nagina, and Antonio, for helping me keep the club running even though I wasn't there physically. It has truly been one of the most challenging things that I have ever done, but also one of the most welcoming because it pushed me in ways that I didn't know that I could be pushed. And it also led me to realizing and learning new lessons that have that will I will carry with me for the rest of my life. A weird thing about early college and I think one of the best things is that there's kind of an unspoken agreement that while you may not be best friends or or even just very friendly at all with every and anybody, you all have an agreement to help each other out. And that support has taken us through some very weird times these past four years. Not only are we pursuing two different types of education at once, but some strange things have happened during our high school years. There have been power outages, there's been fires, there's been, the water's been shut off, there was a bomb threat, the truck went through a portable, and honestly, there's just so much more, and including this pandemic that we now are currently facing. But it is the support from you guys and the community that we have built in spite of that with the little norms that only early college kids really understand, like hanging out in the bird room or playing cards in the cafeteria or just going out to lunch and lunch and trying to make it back in time that have made these four years so memorable and honestly so worth all the sacrifice, sacrifice that comes with this program. There is a joke about the class of 2020 that we have perfect vision which I find quite funny because a lot of us are not very gifted in the vision department. We can't see very well. A lot of us have glasses. But in terms of vision for the future, th that is something this class is not lacking in at all. I have been lucky enough to see all of you, to, to talk to all of you and have a conversation with all of you about what you think your personal future would look like, but also what you want the world in general, our country, our, our country and our world to look like in the future as well. And it is the resilience and the support of a community that have that has taken us through these past four years that I believe will propel us further into the future and to find that great success as well. Despite everything that's been, I think we turned out pretty okay. And it is through that voice that I know you all all have, that very loud voice I know that you all have, that you will change the world, whether that be through activism, volunteering, voting, or casual conversation. You guys are very ambitious, and I can't wait to see where that ambitious takes you in the future. Honestly, I can't just wait to see you guys in general in the future. So thank you again, Class of 2020, for shaping me into the person I am today, and congratulations. All right, thank you. All right, good, great job, Gabriella. Up next, is our salutatorian, Blake Gela. Hi, can everyone hear me? Sorry. During a trying time like these, an ancient Chinese proverb comes to mind. Unity succeeds division, and division follows unity. One is bound to be replaced by the other after a long span of time. This is the way with things in the world. From the outset of the creation of the United States, as given by its name, the country was divided. Men, women, and children were split and isolated between states, le leading to different ideologies, beliefs, and prejudices being locked in that one area for generations. Of unity and division, there were many events that led to further division, both of the kinds of violence and subtlety. It can be seen many times in history, 
whether it be laws or murders opposing the black community in the 19th century, the systematic division, belittlement, and racism created by the New Deal in the 20th century, or the past few decades of division caused by the many issues of the day, including income inequality, many poor and middle-class Americans being betrayed by the banks in 2007, LGBTQ plus people being denied their rights, the judicial system targeting people of color, and as we know right now, police brutality and their opposition with the safety of the people. America has been cut into a million pieces. Now we are witnessing the culmination of these events, a death by a thousand cuts. Now, why do we bring this up? If racism, sexism, classism, etc., have existed for three centuries, what much can we do to stop it now? My answer? is us. The internet, created 40 years ago at UCLA, blossomed into a real unifying network when we were children. We are going to be one of the first generations that have had technology at their fingertips since we were toddlers. And while we were growing, the internet grew too. The internet has expanded so opinions and stories can be shared to everyone that wants to read them, and friends can be made across the country. Unlike the many generations before us, our generation can learn of the struggles of people across the nation and stop the generational prejudices that have been passed down. I believe we will be the generation to break down these barriers dividing us. We are one of the most diverse generations to exist yet. We have the power and voice to make a real change. We will heal the cuts done by the many generations before us. We will amend laws pass helpful legislation, and reform what has divided us. Our generation has the chance to topple the institution that leads to the broken systems we have today. However, we must live up to these expectations. We must remember that we are all human, and we must accept that there are no evil people, just misguided ones. We must rally our beliefs and face the problems as one. We must not make the mistakes of prejudice, so let's accept and listen to those with different opinions. Let us not create a world divided by ideology, but a world unified by difference. Unity succeeds division, and division follows unity. Perhaps we are the first generation that can push us into unity. Thank you. Thank you, Blake. All right, up next, our student of the year, Felix Dooley. All right, can you all hear me? All righty. Um, greetings to the faculty and graduating class of Early College High School. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during this time. I want to start off by saying thank you to the staff of ECHS for this incredible award. If you had told me my freshman year that I would be standing here in front of you now, not only graduating, but being honored with the title of Student of the Year, I would have said you were crazy. I think it's no secret to many of you that my freshman year was turbulent, to say the least. I was dealing with severe anxiety that caused me physical ailments that prevented me from being able to learn and keep up with many of the exciting moments of high school. I also was working behind the scenes full time as a caretaker for my severely disabled older sister. Thanks to the continued assistance and patience granted to me by the incredible staff at Early College, I have somehow made it to my senior year. My high school career has been anything but easy, but has easily been the most rewarding experience of my life. Though I still deal with anxiety, I am at a vastly different point now than I was when I was 13. I'm very privileged in having been able to start hormone replacement therapy in July of last year, meaning that my body is beginning to match my own perception of myself. Growing up and becoming the truest form of myself is something that I honestly never thought I would live to see, and I'm grateful every single day for my life. Sorry. I want to highlight my parents who never gave up on me. I know at times it was hard, but not once did I feel alone thanks to you. Thanks to my older brother Jake for being an inspiration to me, and along with my mom being my best friend. I love you more than anything. Jordan, thank you for being the best younger sister I could ever ask for. Even with the, we argue about how who has to take out the garbage, I know that I love you and you have my back. Your empathy and heart is something no one else I've ever met seems to have. To my oldest sister, Kira, thank you for showing me that love truly is patient. Though we've never spoken together with words or sentences, I feel that we've communicated in many other ways. I love you. Thank you again to all of the staff at Early College. Many of you went out of your way to help me get through easily the toughest moments of my life, and I will never, ever forget that. I'll miss you all so much. To my fellow graduates, continue to let love overwhelm your life. You all are miraculous human beings, and I know you all will continue to do amazing things. Continue to battle injustice throughout your day-to-day -day lives. And no matter our political differences, please, above all, remember to love thy neighbor. Keep in touch and know you're loved. Don't be afraid to reach out. Congratulations to the class of 2020. 
All right, thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Felix. We're so proud of you, great job. All right, the student, they are signing off now and they will watch this when everybody else does next week. Moving into our early college department awards. Up first, we have our College Readiness Tutor Award. All right. The student I'm going to um, have the privilege of giving the CR Tutor Award to is a student that came in and just took charge. Um, she came into my class. She wanted the hardest class. She wanted the hardest tutorial groups. She took them. She made them ask wonderful questions and she brought all the students out of their shells. And I'm glad that she has this award because she is definitely an, an, a unique individual and sometimes I think she gets overlooked. And so this year's College Readiness Tutor Award is going to go to Zachary Montgomery. She just came in and by the end, there were other students who were asking to actually be in her group. And to me, if kids want to be in your tutorial group, that says a lot about you. Congratulations, Zachary. Up next is our English Department Award. Okay, so we the English Award this year is going to Casey Davis. And when I first met Casey in ninth grade, um, I was just so amazed by um, Casey's ability to not only just work to improve in writing and literary analysis, but also that Casey takes risks. And that to be able to follow the assignment and take risks and just be so thought provoking is um, something that is just this huge example to um, all of the students in the program and for the English department as a whole. So, um, so proud of Casey and just can't wait to see what Casey accomplishes in the future. Congratulations, Casey. Up next is our History Department Award. All right, for the History Department, um, I have the pleasure of honoring Caitlin Ludwig this year. It's been really interesting because for these particular students, I have only taught them college readiness and then I get them back in 12th grade. So I see them um, for Gov and Econ. And Caitlin is someone who just came in and she loves to watch documentaries or we're talking about what was just on 60 Minutes. And we have these great in-depth conversations in the sense of seeing what happens in your past and trying to make sense of how it shows in the present and why we're looking to the future. And I think that is something that Caitlin does really, really well. And I think that's really pretty amazing for her. And I just want to thank her for all the great inside talks that we've had. And I just honor her as our History Department Award for this year. Congratulations. Congratulations, Caitlin. Up next is the Math Award. I have the honor of presenting the Math Department Award. The Math Department Award really is about mathematical true grit. And this year um, in the Math Department, as large as it is here at ECHS, we were unanimous in our decision of being able to award this student who has had some struggles and difficulties, even some roadblocks in her mathematical career, but she was able to persevere through all of it. And so this year, the math department award goes to Natalia. Congratulations, Natalia. We are so proud to present this. Both Ms. Staggs and I are just proud of how much you have overcome the last three years. So congratulations. Congratulations, Natalia. Up next is the Phys Physical Education Award. Hi, my name is Mark Spinelli and I get the pleasure of presenting the Physical Education Award. This student displayed wonderful enthusiasm for all activities, sports, and overall health curriculum on a daily basis. 
This student was a leader when necessary and also able to adapt to others' ideas and suggestions, making the class environment better every day. It's my privilege to give the Physical Education Award to Antonio Duenas. All right. Congratulations, Antonio. All right, well, next is our Science Award. All right, class of 2020 has been a great class to work with for science. We have so many students who are going on and continuing in science, which makes me very proud and happy uh, from genetics and anatomy and chemistry and engineering. There's just a ton of very science minded kids in 2020. But one of them stands out as one of the most unique science students I've had um, in my career from year one. Asha uh, had joined us with um, taking on the science fair by building a Van de Graaff generator. And then um, as and later in his high school career, he became one of my uh, tutors for chemistry, knocking biology and chemistry out of the park. Uh, but, but then he became a tutor in chemistry and really helped uh, build devices that helped demo things for the class. And that was such a, a benefit to them. And I really, really appreciated all his hard work um, as both uh, a scientist and a student and, and a tutor. So thank you very much, Asha, and congratulations. Congratulations, Asha. All right, senior projects. So just an introduction to senior projects is a unique thing with uh, early college here. So students plan, implement, and complete a project in one of the following areas, community service, creative arts, and career exploration. And so we wanted to honor uh, students who completed their senior project here. So this is our community service list. Here we go. A great list of projects here. Um, and we wanted to, we had one that really stand out and actually we'll hand this to Ms. Williamson to uh, give this first one here. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, Mr. Pizzo, if you could slide, move that slide. Um, we would love to give the Community Service Award for Senior Project to Jackie Paoli. She has done an amazing job at putting together a system for women's self-defense. Um, it's something that she does with the training that she is already part of, and she just saw a need in the community and decided to move into that particular area. Um, we found her presentation absolutely amazing and what she shared with us. And then, you know, it was the idea that she put it all together and had the curriculum and had the feedback and was getting ready to actually hold her seminar for these women who had signed up. She was roughly about an hour and a half too late because they went into the shelter in place order starting, I want to say something about six o'clock that day. And her course was not supposed to take <laughs> 730. And it was like, oh my gosh. So she was so, so close, but she has every intention of performing it again and offering it when she is able to, um, when everything opens back up. So we're just really proud of her for that particular award. Congrats, Jackie. Congratulations. <laughs> I'll also mention that these uh, projects are well researched and well reflected on and so the students have to do put a lot of effort into their design research and uh, performance of these uh, projects here we have a great list for creative arts oh. there we go. some really great projects here and then one more slide here. We want to honor uh, Indiana for her project, uh, creating a original video game soundtrack. And so I, I remember when Indiana gave her a pitch for the soundtrack, she talked about all the different tracks that she wanted to uh, write. And, and I think all of us kind of said, that's a little ambitious. Why don't you pull it back a little bit? And I'm, I'm so proud to say that she didn't. And she really you know nailed it with, with, the, with what she created. Um, just an exceptional uh, piece of work and an exceptional challenge in creative arts um, that she took on. And I, I just am really excited for the outcome and really excited for all the work that she put in. So thank you very much, Indy. Congratulations. And our last category is career exploration. So this often involves interning or shadowing somewhere and, and doing some sort of project with them. And so uh, our, our award recipient here 
went above and beyond here, and that is uh, Jamal here. Jamal got a chance to intern with Caltrans and uh, with looking at their project management and actually decided for his uh, project part to take on a, pro a problem that every single person on the Zoom call has experienced multiple times, and that is the entrance to Solano College is an odd, odd intersection um, that actually I, I can, <laughs> from my college, oh, no, my college work, we actually deal with this intersection quite a bit and are looking at redesigning. And so he decided to look at this as well and designed a roundabout that would uh, work to uh, uh, take all the different directions that are needed for for this. And so this is a really cool design, got a chance to practice using their simulator. And so there's actually a simulation of how this would look and, and went through all the steps as if it were a real project. And I was just really um, jaw dropped about how much effort and, and work and how personal he made this to a real problem in his life and a real problem that we all see uh, to see kind of what the job of a civic engineer, a civil engineer uh, really does and kind of model the whole thing. So thank you, Jamal, for all your hard work. Congratulations, Jamal. All right, this begins our presentation of our class of 2020. All right, first up, we have Asha. Asha is graduating with high honors. He's a Golden State Seal Merit Award uh, recipient. He's planning to continue at UC Santa Cruz with a major in astrophysics. And his career plan is to push humanity to a new front of the space exploration. Great time for that. And, and we've labeled him our mad scientist. Blake is continuing on at Trinity Western University in Canada. He's, he was a recipient of the highest honors award, Golden State Seal Merit Award, and he plans to major in pre-dentistry and to become a dentist. And we've said, keep smiling, eh? Kylie is continuing at Solano Community College, where she's uh, completing three associate's degrees uh, along with her high school diploma. She graduated with the highest honors, Golden State Seal Merit Award, National Honor Society, and plans to continue transfer to UC Irvine to become a physician. And we called her Miss Pleasant, because she is. Kayla is uh, continuing at Sonoma State University. She's graduating Solano Community College with two associate degrees. She has a Cal Grant recipient, and she plans to make, uh, and she's sorry, she's a highest honors and honor society uh, recipient. She also plans to major in psychology uh, to be a, a psychiatrist, debt-free, living comfortably, she says. And she's our CrossFit queen. Allison joined us this year, and she fit in perfectly with our group here. Um, she's continuing at CSU Long Beach. She's a Pell Grant and Cal Grant Award recipient. She plans to major in psychology to work as a juvenile counselor, counselor in the state system. And she is our musician. Kayla is continuing at UC Berkeley. She's a Merit Scholar, Cal Grant, Pell Grant uh, recipient, and a Golden State Seal Merit Award recipient, and a Rodriguez High Scholar Athlete Award. She's graduating with highest honors, and she plans to man major in integ uh, integrative biology with a plan to become a physical therapist or physician. And Kayla is Elastigirl. Eliza is continuing at uh, Sacramento City College. She is graduating Solano Community College with three associate's degrees and uh, highest honors award and Golden State Seal Merit Award. She plans to major in international business administration and her career plans are to travel the world and help others. Eliza is the happy little helper. Jessica is uh, not sure where she's going to do in college because she's just moved to a new state, so she's picking schools there. Uh, she is um, 
She a recipient of a scholarship from the Sons and Daughters of Italy in America, Fairfield Order. She plans to major in history, and her career path, career interests are in to become a university professor. And Jessica is our Lone Style gal. She moved to Texas. Gabriella or Gabby uh, is our senior class president. She's graduating Solana Community College with three associate's degrees. She plans to continue on at UC Berkeley with a major in legal studies. She's graduating with highest honors, Golden State Seal Merit Award, National Honor Society, and she plans to continue in the legal field. Gabby is awesome number one. Bella or Isabella Viscocho is our senior class treasurer. She's graduating Solana Community College with uh, three associate's degrees and plans to continue at UC Davis with a major in uh, neurobiology, physiology, and behavior. She uh, is a recipient of the highest honors award, Golden State Seal Merit Award, National Honor Society, Rodriguez High Scholar Athlete, and her career plans to be an oncologist or pediatrician. And she is awesome number two. Kiana is uh, continuing at CSU Sacramento, Sacramento State, with a major in psychology. Uh, her career path is to become a field expert in psychology. And Kiana is, has a lovely smile. Okay, and we have Chloe. She is undecided in terms of where she will attend school in the future, but she is a Golden State Seal Merit Award winner, and we call her the Bohemian Chick. And then we have Jay. Jay's college choice is undecided, and she's still thinking about what to do in the future, but she is definitely most likely to be caught reading. And then we have Get. Get will be continuing at Solano Community College and received the Pharmacy Tech Program with CVS scholarship. Um, Get will major in marine biology and hopes to join the Navy and wants to be happy in whatever she chooses to do. We also know Get as the fish lady. And then we have Emily. Emily is a Solano College graduate with two associate's degrees. College is undecided, um, but she knows she'll major in chemistry. She's also a high honors recipient, um, is going to be joining the Air Force, and career plans are to have fun while learning and traveling the world. And our little saying for her is, off she goes into the wild blue yonder. And then we have Romeo. Romeo um, is going to be going to UCI and majoring in public health services. Romeo is also a high honors recipient, a Golden State Seal Merit Award winner, um, a member of National Honor Society, and plans to become a cosmetic surgeon that models and owns a bubble tea shop. And our little nickname for Romeo is Subway YouTube Star One. And then we have Alexa. Alexa is a Solano College graduate with two AAs and will be continuing at USF to major in nursing. Alexa is also a highest honors recipient, a Golden State Seal Merit Award recipient, and plans to become an ER nurse. And Alexa is also Mary Poppins. And then we have Eric. Eric is our FSUSD student board member and also a Solano Community College graduate with three associate's degrees. Eric is going to be continuing at UC Berkeley. He has received the Las Aguilas de Diablo Eagle Scout Award, the Solano Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Assistograd, the RHS and ECHS Fairfield Sassoon Rotary Club, um, received a grant from an internship with Assemblyman T Tim Grayson, will major in political science. Eric is a highest honors recipient, a Golden State Seal Merit Award recipient, the State Seal of Bill Iteracy, 
National Honor Society member, an RHS scholar athlete, and in the future plans to attain a government job and run for office. And so Eric is our future Mr. President. And then we have Casey. Casey will be continuing at Solano Community College with a major in theater and English. Casey is also a highest honors recipient and plans to create an inclusive theater program at a high school level. Casey is also most likely to be on Broadway. And we have Antonio. Antonio is the senior class vice president and graduated from Solano College with three associate's degrees. Antonio will be attending UC Berkeley in the fall um, where he will major in chemical engineering. He is a highest honors recipient, a Golden State Soul Merit Award, the president of National Honor Society, and plans to become a chemical engineer. And he is AKA Diego. And then we have Felix, who is our student of the year. Felix will be attending Solano Community College, majoring in sociology, is working for the Solano Pride Center, and career plans include sharing love and empathy through teaching. And our little saying is, oh, I just can't wait to be king from Simba. And then we have Nagina. Nagina is the senior class secretary, um, will be continuing at Solano Community College and as a recipient of the Cal Grant, majoring in psychology, an RHS scholar athlete. Career plans include the medical field and the little nickname is My Nagana. Okay, then we have Quentin. Gosh, I'm sorry, I need to look at my phone. We have Quentin Eusebio. Um, he is a Solano College graduate with three AA degrees. Um, he's going to continue at Solano Community College. His major is undecided. Um, his highest, he's part of the highest honors with a 4.0 plus GPA, the Golden State Seal Merit Award. He's an RHS scholar athlete. And he plans to, his career plans is to find what I want to pursue. And he is called the other Quentin. Um, and then we have Lara Faustino. And she is a Solano College graduate with three AA degrees. She is um, going to UC Davis where she's going to major in biochemistry and molecular biology. She's of the highest honors with a 4.0 plus GPA. Um, she's getting the Golden State Seal Merit Award, National Honor Society. She is an RHS scholar athlete and her career plans are helping others with a career in the medical field. And her, we call her uh, an amazing artist. And then we have Miranda Felix, um, her college choice, she's undecided, uh, career plans are undecided. Um, and we call Miranda um, the flat bill snapback is her best friend. And then we have Mitchell Flores. He is going to continue at Solano College. His major is business administration. His career plans are to be a business owner and operator. And Mitchell is known as Happening Hair. And then we have Roman Flores. He is going to continue at Solano Community College. His major is business administration. He has high honors and he is part of the National Honor Society and career plans are still yet undecided. And we, Roman is known as Patriot Lover. Then we have Maverick Contiano. He is a Solano College graduate with a four AA degrees. He is going to UC Davis. His assist, he has an assistant grad for the Matt Garcia Foundation. Um, he is part of the North Bay Engineers Club. 
His major is civil engineering. Um, he is part of the highest honors, 4.0 plus GPA. And he has a Golden State Seal Merit Award, National Honor Society, and he plans to be part of the Caltrans um, civil engineer. And Maverick is known as most likely to be stuck in the bathroom. Then we have Gabriela Garcia. She's going to continue at Solano Community College. Her major is psychology. She's part of the National Honor Society, and she plans to maintain a master's degree at UC Davis and have a stable job. And Gabriela is known as the K-pop fanatic. Then we have Nathan Garza. He is undecided. He's an RHS scholar athlete. His career plan plans are undecided, and we call Nathan the next Cal Ripken Jr. Then we have Blake Gella. He is an ECHS salut salutorian. He's an SCC graduate with three AA degrees. He is going to UCLA. His major is in electrical engineering, highest honors with a 4.0 plus GPA, Golden State Seal Merit Award, and he plans to be a CEO of a tech company. And we call Blake the next Sheldon Cooper. Then we have Ian. Over here. Ian is going to San Jose State. His major is software engineer or computer science. He is going to join um, the military, AFROTC, and his career plans are to be an Air Force Intel officer. And we call Ian the Karate Kid. And Serenity, her college choice is undecided. Her career plans are undecided, and we call her filled with secret strength. Okay, next up we have Eric Guzman, and Eric's college career or choice is undecided. Career plans are undecided, but we know him as having the best subtle humor. We have Casey, who is planning to continue on at Solano Community College to major in business administration. He plans to be rich and attain happiness. And we say he has hair. <laughs> Cameron is also going to be continuing on at Solano Community College. She plans to major in business uh, to transfer over to UC Irvine. She wants to be her own boss, which is why we believe she will have, most likely, have her own art exhibition. Arpin, his college choice currently is undecided, but he is a Rodriguez Scholar athlete. His career plans are also undecided, but we know him as having the best personality. Sophia, she has graduated from Solano with three associate's degrees. She's planning to go to Cal Poly Pomona. Oh, try that, Pomona. Um, she's going to major. Her career plans are undecided. But we've known Sophia has been plotting to graduate from early college ever since she was in seventh grade. Madison, she has, is continuing on to Solano, or yeah, continuing on with Solano. Um, she's going to major in business, and she wants to find a job that she enjoys and loves, and we always see her as always polished. Mars is going on to a cinema makeup school. Her career plans is to be a special effects makeup artist, which we have seen. Um, this is why we believe when the Oscar is called, the Oscar for the best makeup will go to Mars. Caitlin, college is undecided at the moment, but she plans to major in physical therapy and she'd like to be a sports physical therapist. And we know her as her as the crazy dog lady. Jordan. Right now, college is undecided as well as her career plans, 
but we are thinking of her as most likely to change her hairstyle. And then we have Maria who is going to Cal Poly Pomona. She will have a mate down there. Um, she is a Cal Grant recipient. She plans to major in architecture, minor in Spanish. She has a Golden State Seal of Biliteracy. She is a member of National Honor Society. She'd like to be an architect in Northern California. And we know her as Subway YouTube star number two. And then we have Julian. He is graduating from Solano with four associate's degrees and plans to go to UC Berkeley. He would like to do chemical engineering. He is a highest honors recipient, a Golden State Seal Merit Award recipient. He is part of National Honor Society. He'd be, he, his career plans are to be able to give back everything to his parents, and we know him as the video game master. Next, we have Julia Mercado. She is graduating SCC with six AA degrees. She plans to transfer to Azusa Pacific University, where she has earned a Dean's Scholarship, APU grant. As sister grad, she has received the Crescent Elementary Scholarship in memory of Mary Jo Bayer Tracy, State Fund Scholarship. She is majoring in nursing, she received a Highest Honors Award, Golden State Seal Merit Award. She is part of the National Honor Society, and her career plans are to be a nurse practitioner focusing on substantive change in public health safety. And we know her as having the most unique handwriting. Hannah. She continues, or she is going to continue at Solano Community College and transfer to UC Irvine with a major of public health services. Her career plans are to finish med school and become a certified physician. And we know her as most likely to talk in class. <laughs> Madison, she is going to go to college at San Jose State University and major in biology. She is a Golden State Seal Merit Award winner and her career plans, uh, um, uh, I think are undecided. And we know her as the owner of the most unique socks. Jessica, she continues to plan uh, to or she plans to continue at Solano Community College and major in accounting and business. She has received highest honors, Golden State Seal Merit Award. She is part of the National Honor Society and her career plan is to become a small business accountant. And we know her as most likely to have trouble uploading to Google Classroom. <laughs> Jamal. Jamal is graduating SCC with two AA degrees. He plans to attend UC Davis and major in chemical engineering. He has highest honors, Golden State Seal Merit Award, and his career plan is to innovate and push the discipline of chemical engineering forward. We know him as the favorite sibling this year. Jackie. Jackie is an SCC graduate and she is graduating with four AA degrees. She plans to attend UC Davis and major in genetics and geno genomics. She has received highest honors, Golden State Seal Merit Award. She is part of the National Honors Society and she plans in the future as to be a gen genentech research just to help people. We know her as another Paoli makes it. Next, we have Mira, or as we know her, Mika. Her college choice is undecided right now, and so are her career plans. But I want to say to you, Miko, may the force be with you.
Indiana. She plans to stay here at Solano Community College for just a little while because she plans to transfer to UC Santa Cruz and major in computer science in game design with a minor in musical comp composition. She is a highest honors award winner, Golden State Merit Award, and her career plan is to work in the video game industry. And we know her as the musical wonder. Ariana. Ariana plans to attend the University of San Francisco. She has received the Jay Getty Scholarship and her major is going to be pre-law. She is a Golden State Seal Merit Award and her career plans are to be a state prosecutor. We know her as that she took the Cornell challenge and she won. Maya, her college choice is undecided, but she knows she wants to major in biology. She is going to enter the military in the US Navy. Her career plan is to become an obstetrician and gynecologist. She is the sleeper. <laughs> Jonathan. Jonathan's college plans are undecided and his career plans are undecided. But there's one thing that I can say about Jonathan. He talks! Isaac. Isaac is an SEC graduate with two AAs. He is major is in psychology. His career plans are to be content and to find stability. And we call him the philosopher. Jaira, he is also an uh, SCC graduate with two AA degrees and his major is nursing. His career plans are to become a nurse and he is most likely to win a medal for Akadeka. Genevieve. Genevieve plans to stay at Solano Community College with a major in biology. She has an assisted grad Armio class of 1950 Memorial Scholarship and her career plans are to become a pediatrician. And she's our biggest classes, classic rock fan. <laughs> Madison. Madison plans to attend CSU Sacramento. She has a state university grant, Cal grant, Pell grant. She plans to major in psychology. She has a Golden State Seal Merit Award and she would like to be an FBI forensic psychologist. And for resilience under academic pressure, we award 250 points to Gryffindor. Eva, she is an SEC graduate with three AAs and she plans to attend Sacramento City College. Her major is international business. She has highest honors, a Golden State Seal Merit Award and her career plans are to make money and to travel. She is most likely to tell the freshmen to do better. Kershaw. Kershaw graduates SCC with two AAs and he trans plans to start the fall at CSU East Bay. He has a Metropolitan Transportation Commission grant from San Francisco and his major is Construction Engineering Management. He is a member of the National Honor Society and his career plans are to never work for someone else. And Kershaw is most likely to be tardy to class. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix will attend the U.S. Military Academy Preparatory School. Um, she has a boys and sorry, boys and girls girls club of San Francisco Scholar Award. Her major is life sciences, and she wished to join the U.S. military for the U.S. Army. She is a National Honor Society member and her career plans are to become a pediatrician. 
and she's the best cheerleader who wears cleats. Sriha, she is the ECHS class valedictorian. She is graduating SEC with nine AAs. She plans to attend UCLA. She has the Anna University Stem Cell internship, internship. Her major is biochemistry with a minor in film. She has highest honors, a Golden State Seal Merit Award, State Seal of Biliteracy. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She's a Rodriguez High School Scholar athlete and her career plans are to see that all my sex, see you all at my next sex education Netflix premiere. <laughs> She is our TikTok queen. Talissa. She is an SCC graduate with three AAs and she plans on attending UC Berkeley in the fall. She has the John Smith Class of 1950 Memorial and Joseph Stiltz Memorial Engineering Scholarship. Her major is chemical engineering. She has received highest honors. Golden State Seal Merit Award. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She is a Rodriguez High School Scholar athlete and her career plans are to obtain a stable job that earns at least $100,000 a year. And she bends it like Beckham. Amareza or Yaz um, is continuing at Solano Community College with a major in aerospace engineering. He has highest honors, a Golden State Seal Merit Award, and his career's plans are undecided. And Yaz is most likely to rescue a friend locked in the bathroom. <laughs> Natalia. She plans to continue at Solano Community College and she would like to major in film and television. Her career plans are telling my stories to the world and she's the bearded dragon lady. All right, congratulations to all our seniors. We are so proud of you all. Such a great accomplishment to finish this program, graduate from high school, and we wish you all the best. We have a couple thank yous and a special at the end. We wanna give a shout out to Miss D. Um, Miss, Miss D is so much more than a campus monitor. Um, she started, these students started high school with her. Um, she looked out for them. She was always somebody that they could talk to, connect with, um, and she'll so be missed as she um, has left the program and finished her last year here. And we've already missed her and we wish her the best in the future, Miss D. We also wanna give a special shout out to our parent leader, Marilyn Barker. Uh, Marilyn's been um, in our parent leader role for the last two years. Um, she's gone to district meetings. She is connected with um, other parents, started a Facebook group. Um, she's just supported the students and staff here and we are so grateful for all Marilyn has done for the early college program. We also wanna thank Monica Brown. Monica Brown was a former Green Valley Middle School teacher but then became a member of the governing board here at Solano College and helped get the early college program started. Um, she is now a Solano County supervisor and she's donated to the senior class the last three years. And we thank her for her ongoing support for the students here at early college. And finally, we wanna thank Solano Community College um, having us be on the campus, um, the support we get from the school here, the university. Um, we're, we're so lucky to be, this, be here in this program. Um, so we're so grateful for all the support from Solano College. And finally, we have some closing remarks from our senior class advisor, Ms. Lisa turgeon Stacks. To the class of 2020, um, this class will always have a special place in my heart. You were the first class on my first day of school at ECHS. You welcomed me with big smiles and a big, hi, Miss Dags, and you made me instantly feel part of ECHS. Some things I remember. I remember Maverick getting locked in the restroom. A marshmallow burger, 
Khalifa, sorting into hamburgers, cheese or no cheese. Rep time. Don't you just love Cornell notes? <laughs> skunks and more skunks. Casey singing Hamilton. Blake as Mufasa. Ooh, Mufasa. And me sweating whenever I had to tell the difference between Gabby and Bella. And I still have to think really hard. <sighs> you are a family. And just like family, most of the time you get along, well, sometimes you don't. You grow and change, and yet this family will always be there for you. Please keep nurturing and growing your family that you have made at ECHS, because family, whether by blood or by choice, is important. Now, I thought I would review something very important with you. The order of operations, also known as PEMDAS. But it isn't the PEMDAS you're expecting. It's not the one you learned in math class. So here we go. P. P is for patience. Have patience with your coworkers, your friends, family, strangers, and most importantly, yourself. Sometimes things just take a bit of time. E is for education. Strive to become a lifelong learner. It's fun to learn new things, and it will keep your brain young. M is for move. Keep moving. It is easier to keep going than to start once you stop. And this works for more things than just physical activity. A is for effect. How will you affect your family, your children, your community, or your country? And finally, S is for smile. Whether you wear it on the inside or on the outside, it will affect how you deal with yourself and those around you. To the families of our graduates, thank you for letting us at ECHS become a part of your families for the past four years. Without you, none of this could be possible. To the graduates, thank you for the laughter, the smile, the smiles, the headaches, and yes, the tears. You will always have a place in our hearts. And you know what? We have loved it all. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good luck in all your endeavors. I, we, we will miss you. All right. Well, thank you. Um, we wish we could have been here in person with you all, but we look forward to seeing you on Thursday, June 18th. Um, the teachers and I will be outside uh, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and we'll be presenting diplomas and to give you a proper send off. So we'll see you then. Good luck and we wish you all the best in the future. Thank you. Recording. All right.